Hi, in this video, we will see most important questions of class 9, chapter 1, number system. So let's get started. First one, match the following. Let us take the first bit, 3 plus root 10 into 3 minus root 10. So this is in the form of a plus b into a minus b, which is a square minus b square. So a square minus b square. So 3 square is 9 minus square and root gets cancelled which will be minus 1. So this is a bit. Now coming to b bit, 32 power 1 by 5. So for these kind of questions, you need to make sure to see what is the denominator of the power. It is 5. So why I'm saying this is try to make the base in such a manner that you have power as 5 so that it gets cancelled. For example, 32 can be written as 2 power 5. So I can write 32 as 2 power 5. 2 repeated 5 times will give you 32. Whole power 1 by 5. Now this is a power m whole power n, which is a power m into n. Now this 5 and this 5 gets cancelled and you get your answer as 2. So this is why you need to see what is the denominator here. Now third question. Here we see that the denominator is irrational number. So, it we need to rationalize. So, here first we need to know what is the rationalizing factor. So, the rationalizing factor is 2 plus root 3. We need to just change the middle sign. So, 2 plus root 3 should be multiplied to both numerator and denominator and we have 4 root 3. Now, the numerator is in the form of a plus b whole square, 2 plus root 3 whole square is repeating two times and the denominator is a plus b into a minus b. It will always be in that form once you rationalize. So a square minus b square and you have minus 4 root 3. Now a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab divided by 2 square is 1. My uh, 4, 2 square is 4, sorry, and root 3 whole square is 3. And you have minus 4 root 3. Now, 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 4 root 3 minus 4 root 3. The denominator is 1. So, plus 4 root 3 minus 4 root 3 cancel and you get your answer as 7. So, this is it. Now, the next question is, Find 5 1 by 7 in decimal form and identify the type of decimal expansion. So firstly, this mixed fraction needs to be converted into improper. So 5 7 is 35 plus 1 is 36 by 7. So we need to divide. So 36 divided by 7. Yes. So 7 5s are 35. Remainder is 1. Now after 36 I can put a decimal and use so many zeros because after decimal you can apply zeros it doesn't change the question. You have so many zeros you can take so many zeros. Now after 36 you have a decimal so place a decimal here and then get one zero at the bottom. Now 7 into 1 is 7 what is the remainder 3. Now you can get another zero 7 into 4 is 28. What is the remainder? 2. Next, another 0. 7 into 2 is 14. The remainder is 6. Now, next 0. Likewise, you will just get on the zeros till you get some uh, repeating numbers. So, 7 into 8 is 56. And the remainder is 4. Again, 0. So, 7 into 5 is 35 and the remainder is 5. So, here let me do here. So, again I get a 0. So, 7 into 7 is 49 and the remainder is 1. Again I get a 0. Again, 7 ones are 7, remainder is 3. Now, if you see, I will again get 0, 7 fours are 28 and so on. I'll get 2 as remainder. And see, this process repeats. 1, 4, again, you'll get 2, 8, 5, 7. 
which means that 5.142857 this block of digits keeps on repeating so basically this is non terminating repeating decimal non terminating because it will not stop and repeating you have a block of digits which keeps on repeating okay next up we have simplify now see when you have so many powers multiple powers you will just multiply all the powers so this can be written as 625 whole power minus 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 4 into 2 so 2 2 gets cancelled we get 625 whole power minus into minus is plus 1 by 4 now, in my previous question, the same question we had, for these kind of questions, we need to see what is the denominator of the power. It is 4. So, you need to try to make the base in such a manner that you get the power as 4. So, 625 can be written as 5 power 4. 5 multiplied by, um, 5 multiplied 4 times will give you 625. Whole power 1 by 4. So, 4, 4 gets cancelled and you end up having 5 as the answer. Now, next up is very important question. You will definitely get one model. Now, here the question is 0 0.39999. Basically, it is 0 0.39 bar. 9 is repeating multiple times. So, let me take x as 0 0.3999. This is my first equation. All right. So, now here you will multiply. You will try to get two equations. So, let me just remove this as first equation. You will try to get two equations. If I multiply this one with 10. So, 10 into x is 10. And 10 into this number will give you 3.999. Let me take this as first equation. Now, second equation. To find x, you want two equations, right? Second equation, let us multiply this one with 100. So, 100 into x is 100x is equal to 100 into this number will give you 39.999. Let me take this second equation. So, why did I multiply with 10 and 100? You need to multiply in such a manner that the decimal places, that means the numbers after the decimal should be same for easy calculation. Now, here I can see that my numbers after decimals are 9 in both the equation. So, I can easily calculate them. Now, we need to subtract, subtract 1 from 2. 1 from 2 means 2 minus 1. So, 100x minus 10x is 90x is equal to 39.999 minus 3.999. So, this is 0 and you get 36 is equal to 36. So, then x will be equal to 36 by 90. So, I can reduce it. Uh, 18 2s are 36, 18 5s are 90. So, the value of x is 2 by 5. So, we have expressed this in the form of 2 by 5 in p by q form. Very important question. Now, next up is a similar question again. Now here, the value of x is 0 0.435 and we can see the bar is only for 3.5. That means 3.5 is repeating, not 4, only 3.5. Let us take this first equation. Now, let me multiply this with 10. So I get 10x is equal to 4.3535 and so on. This is my second equation. Now, if I multiply this first equation by 100, I get 100x is equal to 43.53, 43 uh, but the decimal places are not matching with this. So, I want to make sure that it matches so that I can subtract them easily. So, for that, I will multiply the first equation by 1000. So, if I multiply by 1000, I get 1000x is equal to 1000 into this number, 1, 2, 3. So, we get 435.3535 and it keeps on repeating. 
So now here I can see that my decimal places are same. So now we can subtract both of them. So subtract 2 from 3. So 1000 minus 10 is 990x is equal to 435 minus 4 is 431.00. So from here x will be equal to 431 by 990. So we cannot further reduce it. So this is your final answer. So in this you just need to make sure that your decimal places are same so that you can subtract easily. Now, next up, we have an exponent question. So, in exponents, you need to try to make the bases same. Because if your bases are same, you can apply all the laws. So, here I can see that 9 and 27, the base 9 and 27 can be made up into 3s. So, 9 can be written as 3 cube and we have whole power 1 by 3. Similarly, 27 is, sorry, 9 is 3 square. 9 is 3 square whole power 1 by 3 and 27 is 3 cube whole power minus 1 by 2. And denominator we already have same base. So here we can apply a power m whole power n which is a power m into n. 2 into 1 is 2 by 3. 3 power 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 by 2. Whole power 3 power 1 by 6 into 3 power minus 2 by 3. Now I can apply the laws. A power m into a power n is a power m plus n. When you have multiplication, you will add the powers. So 3 power 2 by 3 minus 3 by 2. Same 3 power 1 by 6 plus minus will give you minus. So 3 power here the LCM is 6. 4 minus 9. Similarly, 3 power here, again, the LCM is 6. And here we have 1 minus 4. So we get 3 power minus 5 by 6 whole by 3 power minus 3 by 6. Okay. Now, since we have division, we have the uh, quotient law, which is a power m divided by a power n a power m minus n. So when you have division, you will subtract the powers. So you get 3 power m minus n. Now n is again negative. So you will put it in brackets. Minus 5 by 6 minus into minus is plus 3 by 6. Since the denominators are same, I can add 3 minus 5 is minus 2 by 6. 2 1s are 2 3s are. So 3 power minus 1 by 3. This is our final answer. So in these exponent questions, just try to make the basis same and keep applying the laws. Okay, next up we have A is 3 plus 2 root 2 and we need to find this value. So A value we already know. We need to find 1 by A. So 1 by A is 1 by 3 plus 2 root 2. Now we have an irrational number in the denominator, we will rationalize. And the rationalizing factor is 3 into 2 minus, uh, 3 in 3 minus 2 root 2. That needs to be multiplied to both numerator and denominator. So 1 into this is 3 minus 2 root 2. And the denominator a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. So we get 3 minus 2 root 2 divided by 3 square is 9. 2 square is 4 into root 2 square is 2. 4 into 2 is 8. So which will get us 3 minus 2 root 2. Now let us take the question a minus 1 by a. a is what? 3 plus 2 root 2. Minus what is 1 by a? 3 minus 2 root 2. Always put it in the bracket if you have more than one terms because sign changes. So A, open the brackets, minus 3, minus into minus, plus 2 root 2. So plus 3 minus 3 cancel, 2 root 2 plus 2 root 2 is 4 root 2. You can add only if the roots are same. Now next question here is proving part. Now here, 
we can first the power outside belongs to both numerator and denominator and you know when you have a power m whole power n is a power m and you will just multiply so this is basically x power a c by x power b c into similarly x power a b by x power a c into x power b c by x power a b so here the power that you have that belongs to both numerator and denominator so then x power a whole power c you will just multiply the powers all right now here we can apply the quotient law a power m divided by a power n is a power m minus n similarly x power same a b minus a c x power b c minus a b we have applied the quotient law now here we can apply the product law because you have multiplication so when you multiply in the product law the powers are added so let us add all the powers a c minus b c plus a b minus a c plus b c minus a b so let's see if we can get reduced plus a b minus a b plus a c minus a c plus b c minus b c so we get x power 0 anything to the power 0 is always 1 so in exponent these kind of questions look looks difficult but they are the most easy ones now coming to next question proving again here now i can write this as x power a minus b a minus b is basically x power a by x power b so when i apply the quotient law here i will end up having this same we need to do it here 1 plus x power b by x power a now whenever you have fractions you will always take lcm so now here what is the LCM in the denominator? X power B. So 1 by whole power X power B. You get X power B plus X power A. Same. 1 by here the LCM is X power A. So you get X power A plus X power B. Alright. Now the denominator when I take it to the numerator it becomes reciprocal. So your question becomes x power b by x power a, a plus x power b plus now this will become reciprocal. So it becomes x power a by x power a plus x power b. Again you end up having fraction. Again you need to take LCM. So here LCM is very clear. Both the terms have x plus x power a plus x power b. So here we get x power b and here in the numerator we have x power a. Since both are same I can get it cancelled and my final answer is 1. So these proving questions you always end up having 1 as the answer. And they are very easy just keep applying the laws. Product law, quotient law and power law. These three are the most important laws. Now last question here we have. This expression when simplified reduces to a minus b root 15. Find the value of a and b, a plus b. So here again we have an irrational number we need to rationalize. So the rationalizing factor here is root 5 minus root 3. That needs to be multiplied to both numerator and denominator. So here in the numerator, I can see root 5 minus root 3 is repeating two times. So root 5 minus root 3 whole square divided by a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. So here a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus 2 into a into b. And the denominator is a square minus b square. Here I can get rid of roots and square, roots and square, 5 minus 3 I get as 2. Now the square and root gets cancelled, 5. Same, the square and root gets cancelled, 3. Minus 2 root 15 whole divided by 2. So 5 plus 3 is 8 minus 2 root 15. Now this 2 you can individually divide. So you, in maths you need to simplify to the fullest. 
So here I get two ones to fours. I get four minus two two gets reduced root fifteen. So now if I compare this with a minus b root fifteen, the value of a becomes four and the value of b when there is no number it means it is one. So value of b is one. So a plus b the value of a plus b will be equal to five so yeah this is it so these 10 are the most important and repeated questions of number system class ninth so in my previous video i have already explained all the concept with some tips and tricks to remember go check it out thank you